All right, people, I'm going to show you how to set up a server, a virtual server in the DigitalOcean platform. Uh, after you've created your DigitalOcean account, you'll see a page similar to this. I have a little bit of um, some changes or differences in mind because I have a personal and a business account. And then in my business side, I have different projects. So I've created a tech and space project and we're going to develop all our walkthroughs and tutorials in this project. If you don't have any servers, which you shouldn't have since it's a new account, we're going to we're going to see that blue box right here or we can create a droplet, which is what DigitalOcean calls their virtual servers right here at the top green button. OK, here we have a list of servers we have available to install in the virtual environment. We have Ubuntu, FreeBSD, Fedora, Debian and CentOS. My preference is CentOS. It's derivative of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And I've been a Red Hat guy since the 90s, so I just stuck with it. Um, the, these other ones are great. FreeBSD is not really Linux. There's a lot of similarities, but FreeBSD um, has a lot of differences as well. So we're going to go with CentOS for this demonstration. There's two versions, 6.9 and 7.6. There's a new version, 8, but they don't have it available here yet. So we just go down here to the standard, leave that alone. We definitely don't need a $40 a month server. So we're going to go into the $5 a month, which is going to be a great place to start for all the servers. Any server you install for any reason, just start with the $5 a month. If you grow the, its purpose and its capacity to need more resources, you can expand them. That's one of the nice things about virtual servers. And we'll show you all that later. We don't need to add block storage, which is um, more virtual disk space or hard disk space. Choose the region that you're closest to. I'm in between San Francisco and New York, closer to San Francisco. Sometimes I install servers in New York. Sometimes I install servers in San Francisco. Depends on what I want to do. Uh, go ahead and choose your region that you're closest to. And then go down a little bit to the selected additional options. There is no selected additional options needed. We have SSH keys. These things you need to set up ahead of time. And so I'm not going to walk you through that quite yet. Right now, just do the one-time password, which is not for a one-time install or a login. It's just a password. And then we want to name the server. Name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter what the name of it is, just whatever your preference is, whatever name conventions you like to use. There's no need to have tags. We don't have enough servers to need to sort them or filter them. The project, of course, is the TIS. In my case, you might even you might not even have a project section or option. And then we're going to add back. We don't need to add backups because this is just going to be a demo. You might want to add backups later. And this this backup, you're paying for automatic backups. And we'll show you how to do manual backups a different time. So when you're done, create droplet. OK, after you've created the droplet, you're going to get an IP address. You can click on this bar and you can see what the status of your server is. You can see, most importantly, that you're going to be paying $5 a month for the server. There's three things we need now to log into the server. There is an option. If you don't want to install a terminal on your Windows machine, you can uh, access the console right here and manipulate the uh, server from here. I will show you that later. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you how to jump into the server, log into the server using a terminal, which because I'm using uh, a Macintosh or an Apple computer, um, I have it built in. Windows does not have it built in, and I'll show you how to install it or uh, install a terminal on Windows later. So what we'll need is the IP address, copy that, and we'll need the password. I'll get that in a minute from the email. I'm going to log in with SSH root at paste the IP. It's asking you to accept the fingerprint to this computer. Type in YES. Y will not work. Sometimes Y will be sufficient. But in this case, uh, YES is what you need to type to continue. Enter that and you'll see the password. We'll get the password right now. Let me go into my email. I'll, I'll blur all this out because accessing my email or showing my email would be like having my pants down in public. And we jump into that email. We copy the password. It's a long alphanumeric password. Go back to terminal, paste that in. It's asking for the current password, paste that again, and then type in a new password. And now we're in. 
So from here, we can update the server, we can install new services, new software, apps, things like that. And we're gonna go all through that, just pick and choose whatever kind of uh, server you wanna create. We'll have a list built out so you can pick and choose what you wanna do with the server.